Welcome back everybody to another NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. Um, starting out this episode with some dirt races. So I believe it's two back to back if I'm not mistaken. So let me go ahead and jump into this. And um, we will then get into the truck races right afterwards. <laughs> place finish there and now we'll move on to I want to say it's another dirt race it is so we'll go ahead and do the same thing here after we prep the car um, get that worked on we got a short track road course car as well and we can auto set the rest of them except and we'll head off to Richmond <laughs>
All right, so a bit of a dicey move there at the end, but we got it done. Um, and we've made it into the dirt playoffs once again. Um, looking for back-to-back -back championships here in the dirt series. We'll have to see if we can get it done. But now we are off to Gateway Raceway. Um, WT, WWT Raceway, rather. Um, where we're looking for one more top 34 hours in the seventh contract. This one's a little bit weird. Um, but overall, I think we're going to be. Eh, I guess we'll have to kind of see how we do here. But it's definitely unique. I will give them that. Uh, so we begin to. Jim for Joe Cobb already on the exit of Pit Road. And. Make up a decent amount of time there on the pit exit. That may be something I have to account for on a green flag pit stop run. The pit stop is definitely weird around here. Um, I have actually, I have seen this racetrack from afar. Um, I've never been to it, but I have been right close right, to it. Um, just behind those grandstands is the major interstate going into St. Louis from Illinois. Um, and it, you can see it right from the interstate there. Um, so I just saw that this past January. So I was on, a, on a business trip to St. Louis, and that was kind of cool to see to be able to. Um, it took me a little bit to recognize that at first, but once I did, I was pretty excited. As I kind of know what this um, track looks like. And it took me a little bit to figure out what it was, but um, was definitely very excited once I figured it out. Not actually looking too terrible here on the stock setup compared to the gold time. Kind of doing that big diamond here in the corners. The one and two are different from three and four. It's kind of got a weird oval shape to it. We'll go ahead, return to the garage. I'll throw a custom setup in and bump up the wedge probably about five clicks higher than what they have it in the custom setup to see how that does it. So let me move to the custom race setup. There we are for the stock, and I'll change some things around and see where we end up. Alrighty, so got the custom setup in here. I did go up three clicks on the wedge to try to fight the loose off that we fight towards the end of the runs. So the custom setup was set for 49.3. I went ahead and five clicks up. And some significant changes particularly something I noticed right off the bat was the change in brake bias um, was quite a bit higher for the custom setup so we'll have to see how that turns out here hopefully it should allow me to get into the corners a bit better without sliding around oh Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, Inside. That might begin to change back because that car went straight under braking. Um, or truck, rather. Let's see here. 
It, all the brakes are at the front. Let me figure out how to run this setup. I may have to move some of that braking back to the back tires again. All the braking is on the front tires. Uh, yeah, it's all the braking power is on the front tires, which means I can't get a turn in while I'm braking. So let me try this again. I'm essentially just punching the brakes at the beginning of the corner, and then um, coasting it from there. So probably braked a little late there. We can get the turn down. Let's see here. Um. A little bit better of a lap. Let's see here. I think I'm actually going to move the brake bias back to what it was. And then I I don't mind how the car drives, I just can't turn on the braking whatsoever. So That is going to need to get moved back. I think that was send about 65. So that's where I'm going to set it up for now. Unless I can figure out. I'm slowly getting the hang of the braking, but I know I'm going to screw it up getting into three and four here. Cause I have to break earlier than I think I need to. I don't want to make the corner right. Even the AI seem to be having some problems here. As who is that? Akram back behind us was sliding around. I'm sure you guys could hear that. Um, I'm going to return to the garage. I'm going to make an adjustment to the brake bias. Hopefully, um, give me a little bit more wiggle room to work with. Try this and hopefully okay, get back in there. can make it through the corners a little bit better now without having to worry about um, breaking super early. We can break at the normal point and then um, get through the corner. Oh, I like that. I like it a lot. Wonderful run out of the corner. I like it a lot. Does get the car a little loose under braking, but I will take it if it means that I can brake where I need to brake. Um, we've got the structure inside. We're just going to run around the outside. We got the good drive off, but he hit us. Overall, still not a bad lap there. Um, let's go for another corner here. Uh, we may need to change brake by a sum with this setup, but I definitely want to keep it more towards where it's at at the moment. Um, so I can break later into the corners. Definitely cannot survive at that 90% that was set out though. So maybe I'll go, maybe I'll split the difference. We'll see what this lap time tells me here. Not terrible, not great. Oh, and it's going to get looser as the run goes on. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. I know this is messing with the setup a bit more than I usually would, but it's going to be important to get through that corner correctly. So, go ahead and save that. 
and this should be a fairly decent corner entry. It's going probably going to have to break a little bit early. Um, however, I should be able to get to the corner nicely still. So let's give this a whirl. And really, the braking was fine until the right rear started to wear out some. So, kind of tells you it's just skin. It's just the tire wear that we're battling. Inside. So, all right, you're clear. Got truck turret inside. Not bad, not great there. So I thought the other truck was still torn inside, but apparently it fell back. I couldn't tell where he went after that collision. Good three and four. And that's a really good lap. I like where it's at at the moment. Because that was even with the compromise turns one and two. A little bit looser there through one and two that time but it's just something we're going to have to slowly deal with as the run progresses is trucks going to get looser and looser into the corners more so than off the corners so um, we complete the goal for practice which is good so We'll go ahead and move on to qualifying and that um, goal time was even set on um, what was it our second lap out on track which really almost ends up being our third lap out on track so um, good information there now it's just going to be um, breaking out the right points without those indicators and making sure we get into the corner well to get a good run off three and four here set us up for qualifying this one and two is a lot narrower run that second or maybe it's even that third lane around that corner have to watch out for that straightaway kind of juts out at you just a little bit can be tricky so I overdrove three and four really badly gonna have a good run off but it is going to compromise my lap time see where this ends up putting us it's a 35.9 30 yeah 35.9 and put this in 24 so um, I think it's going to be a fairly good run here. I am going to... No, I'm not going to make an adjustment. Um, I think we're going to be okay. I don't want to mess with my brakes any more than I have to. Or I've already had to. So, let's get going here. Up through the gears. And we have 8 laps in the first stage. 15 laps of fuel. On the brakes in the turn 1. We've got a truck to our inside already. Um, I think we're definitely going to be better on the long run where these trucks can't go and basically pull a dive bomb on us like that um, is not appreciated in the slightest. We'll keep moving on. Trying to stick with this lead pack. Get slowed down well there. Can kind of use the trucks as an indicator of when we need to start applying the brakes in general here. And just being nice and easy with it, making sure we get a good exit. That's more than anything what we want. Not 
been too aggressive through the corners at all. Um, I think that's kind of what I've learned Nowhere. with F1. It's something I just need to apply a little bit better Nowhere. here to the NASCAR game. Is just to be a little bit easier into the corners, and that will help me out a lot. You can see how quickly that inside wall approaches, or that outside wall rather. Um, if you were to get nice and close to it, get a little bit of a bump off the exit three and four, I have to lift there a little bit. We've got some traffic that is caught back up to us as we have battled. Snapped loose there a little bit on the entry to the corner under braking. Still get a good exit Careful, off though. That time you can really see how that wall comes still up on you. Inside. Ran a bit hot Inside. into that corner. Um, we lose some time. Got a little bump, but we're able to keep our Careful, foot in it. Here. Four laps to go, end the stage. Still there. So nice we get, oh, and we've got a caution. Um, so that's going to end the stage. Sent in 25th, and honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. If we can, um, oh, we do need to pit here. Um, do we? Hmm. I'm going to take a risk here. We're not going to pit. Um. I think our tires will make it. Almost ready. It looks like we had enough fuel. We'll have to see here, but I think we should. Yep. Nine laps to go for the stage. Eleven Still laps of fuel. Hold your line. Uh, now I'm going to get dive bombs, apparently, but, um, run a little bit further up in the pack here, and I'm guessing they're going to pit the end of this stage as well, so not a terrible move to try to get some track position and run in a little bit better spot as long as... Um, we can hang on to it and get the trucks to spread out a little bit. We're not the best when everybody's bunched up, but if we can get the field to spread out a little bit, um, we'll do a little bit better. So, we're definitely going to be running our tires to the very edge and may risk a good finish here for that fact. However, All clear. I think it's somewhat worth the risk. Hold your line. That one inside. So that's All yet clear. to be determined. We've got seven laps to go. 61% on the right rear. Overdrove one and two. Tag the wall. Um, inside. So maybe trying to go to the lead on old tires wasn't our best option here, but we shall see. Oh. Car didn't want us, truck didn't want to slow down. Um, yeah, tires are definitely starting to get worn. We'll have been better off pitting and just staying essentially where we were on track. But I'm trying to play with this strategy some just to try to figure out some sort of advantage um, even on the races where we are doing good so Careful, still there. Inside. Oh, it's loose run on the worn tires here still up in 29 go, so still have the top 30 and a hand at the moment However, there are still five laps to go on the stage. Um, I'm fighting some turn off on the worn tires at the moment. 
going to drop down into 31st here. Try diamond the corner, get the run off. A little bit loose there as we tag the um, the curb, not the apron here. And now my goal is just going to be stick with this pack here that we have in front of us. We're going to have a fast truck in the last um, run. It's just going to be hang on to it. Um, and unfortunately find our way back to the pack a little bit as we move forward because we're hanging on to Harmon here it's not like they're pulling away from us they're on newer tires than we are and obviously that's some um, other tire wear evening out some as I way over drove one and two they may start to pull away a little bit now. Um, again, that probably somewhat just the tires evening out. They're on worn tires just like I am. I overdrove three and four a little bit as well. Yeah, good run out of the corner though. We have two to go left in the stage however I think we may be a force to be reckoned with here and the last stage as we're going to be on some fresh tires um, and be able to work our way through the field a little bit hopefully so we're drifting it through the corners I'd probably be spinning this if I was using a different camera view because I'd be overcorrecting it. But um, honestly, it's not feeling too bad overall for as loose as the truck is. So I even feel like we're catching up a little bit to Mike Harmon up there. Obviously, not much. But maybe a little bit. Top 10 has crossed the finish, start finish line. So we end up in third first. For the end of the stage. Going to go ahead and pit. We're going to fix up the damage. Um, I'm not going to touch the wedge or anything like that. Let's just pit. And let's get back to work on gaining some track position. Right, you're coming to the green. Almost ready. Quick drink there as we keep on moving on. 21 laps to go and the stage. We have what 15 now 14 laps of fuel left. So we're gonna have quite the long run here to the end. And use other trucks as braking markers. Alright, you're clear. Oh, this cab nearly loses it right in front of us. Um, we're in the top 30. A little bit of bumper right, damage there. Careful, still there. Aggressive onto the brakes down and to turn one. Get the car slow down enough to make the corner. Stay Keep low, moving low. up into 29th. As long as we can keep running this bottom, we'll be okay and not have stupid dive bombs like that. Get out of the way, Jennifer Joe Cobb. You have been a pain in my side this entire career. Well, we're going to bring some NASCAR into this. We're going to give you the whole running up the track. You're all clear up top. I can't really do that in F1. I mean, you can dive bomb, but um, you can't really run someone up the track when you're frustrated with them. And I kept my track position, so that was quite nice. Hard onto the brakes. I drove that corner a little bit, but we were going to have a fantastic run out of it as long as I don't lose the car. Very nice. 
Um, pull away from the back two there a little bit. And... We are able to get some runs on the trucks right in front of us. Got good run here on white. A little bit deep into the corner. Still run him up the track just a little bit. Clear all around. Get the good run off, and that is pass made. And 17 laps to go. I definitely overdrove that corner, but it's all right. We're still making up time. We have Majeski right in front of us now. We maybe we'll make a move. Nope, I got to the brakes early. I'd rather have the good run off. We have to check up a little bit there, not to get in the back to him. And it somewhat messed up a run there. Um, we've got caution here. I don't know why nobody else is pitting. I am going to pit. Because if we pit here, we can go to the end of the race, theoretically. So I don't know why. Haha, -ha, Jeff or Joe Cobb crash. You have no idea how happy that makes me feel. She's become a bit of a rival for us, even if it doesn't show it. Um. But yeah, we can make it to the end on fuel, so I'm not sure if um, cause we couldn't have made it before. We had like 11 laps left on fuel, and the new tires are working wonders. There's just made up two spots in one, two spots in one corner. Let's see here. And yeah, we're right where we were. And even if the caution does come out, we can always um, pit here again when they pit and be on the same tires as them, really. Really, we're just getting a tire advantage as it is clearly working out here so far. Fresh tires definitely help against the AI, at least at this track. Um, they're making a huge All difference. Right, we're able to drive up to where we were earlier in the race with ease, really. Um, being on newer tires compared to the AI. Break early, make sure we keep it right on the bottom. Get the good run off. And see here up into 23rd very nice there and yeah we've got 12 laps of fuel left preferably we'd have this go green all the way um, in which case we could basically we may have a chance at a second win here in the season but I see smoke in front of us. Not going to be able to get it. The green flag run that I wanted. I am actually going to pit here. I saw how much of a difference. Um, fresh tires made there. So we're going to go ahead and pit. Hopefully they don't pull. They pulled some stupid strategy. Probably like two tires. Um... So theoretically, I should be able to drive right back up to where it was. Green flag, green flag. Um, and in any case, there's only 30 cars left in the race. So I can just simply... Um, get last place and still fulfill our top three there. I actually downshifted into third there a little bit. Get the drive off. I would overdriven the corner a little bit up to 26 beside 25th all right you're clear when to get back to the throttle as I overdrove the corner there we have a massive run 
Uh, I tried to cut down to the inside, couldn't make it happen there. Still there. Got into the back of the image check there a little bit. Going to have good run. And Boyd is just doing really well at blocking off those runs. And we've had... We're going to have... The spot underneath him going into the corner. Overdrove it a little bit. But we're going to have the drive off compared to Still there. him Five there. To go. Go. We're going to get stuck behind Hill here, Still though. There. Um, I need to get past him or push him forward so we can clear the car that we were beside Still at there. the moment. I'm not sure who that is. Um, I need Hill to get off the bottom. He's actually outside, slowing us outside. up quite a bit in the corners. Diamond the corner there a little bit. And we're going to have the exit. Get the run down the straightaway. We may be able to poke here. Nope, not going to take the poke there as somebody just completely destroyed us from behind. Um, I think that might have been Boyd again. Wow. Um, if he can get one right back. Actually, that kind of helped him get past everyone. And probably gave us more damage than it did him. He appears to have a fast race car, though. Going to take a look there at Hill finally. Um, got him a bit sideways, but helped him correct it. We just had the faster truck overall, but couldn't have a big enough run. Finally, just had to set the bumper to him. Stay on the bottom here. As All right, we get clear. underneath it's Gray there, he's going to pull the crossover on us though. And. Going to have the inside going down into turns one and two here. Two laps to go. Drive it deep into the corner. It's not going to work. Um, Nima check gets back by us as well. Not ideal there. Um, see here. Break, 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 break. Roll the outside. See if we can get a run here. Can't even get a really a run there. So, I'm not sure really what happened during pit stops. Maybe they took two tires and the tires just equalized that quickly. I'm not sure. But, um,. They kept a fair amount of their speed. If they did just take two tires, which is a little bit unfortunate for us, but overall, we had a pretty good race. We are not letting hell get back past us. No way, we're kind of off. And we're going to bring it home in 24th here at WWT Raceway at Gateway. Um, 94 speed training, and we'll move on to the next race. 24th there. Once again, $8,500 added to the bank. Be complete. An incentive contract for once. And, um, Tanner Gray is not happy with us. Um, I didn't realize we were around Austin Hill, but okay. Because he drives a white car, not the black car that we hunted. We've got another dirt race, so um, let me jump in, do this one a second. Let's see, we've got someone who can. Well, let's see here. Let's do our other jobs first. We prop the road course car for sure. Well, yeah, we can throw Ellie there. I'll put that 
nearly everything to one to one hundred. And we're looking quite good there. We'll head to Drebin. Um and hopefully get another win. <laughs> was there but um my PC should be more than adequate to run this now we've had a few other low glitches in the past but it's gotta be somewhere within the game so um we've got a road course race coming up so let's go ahead jump into here I'll probably just run I'll just run stock set up here. There's no need to go crazy. I'll run probably two. Let's run two practice laps. Um, just to get the feel of the track. Yes, even the truck races have um, one or two road course races a year. I forget how many they have. Though they're not. Right side, right side. Oh, this is going to be a boatload of fun. Um, right side, right side. I think road course races in general are going to be just tons of fun on the on the wheel, honestly. Like, I know they're bad on... Controller, but... Um... They're gonna be really bad... On the wheel. Um... Awesome, I'm just going to do a lap around here. See what the layout of the track is. I gotta remember what this track looks like. And then I'm not even going to qualify either. I know I'm going to qualify um, dead last. So, no point in even doing that. And we'll just kind of use. Um, other trucks as driving indicators yeah it's going to be a hot hot mess so yeah like I said 
Just going straight into it. Not really expecting We're going green. much of anything here. Ready. Um, right now, let's go. Right it may force me to work on my throttle control some. But this is going to be... A hot mess. I'm just following the pack at this point. Hold the wheel. Ah. Uh, and there's our first caution. It's going to be the driver, stage. Twenty eighth. Um. Let's keep moving here. Um. Estimated fuel. Why is no else pitting? Um. I'll pit, why not? Maybe because I don't think we're actually going to make it there, which is probably, right. to be honest, Coming quite fair. Um, left side. Left side. I'm noticing we've actually got a lot of laughs in this race. So... Right side, right side. Um, All right, you're clear. Not going to be ideal there. Okie dokie then. Hey, we made it further than last time. Um, <laughs> hey, I'm not the only one racing in the grass. There's going to be a wreck up here. Caution. Oh, I should have made up positions while I could. Um, not pitting. Maybe I should have pitted. They could have made me. Eh. Yeah, I probably should have pitted. We we're at the back, anyways. Oh well. Um. We are theoretically good to make it to the end of the stage. On fuel. Not that I think we're even. I don't know how we're ever going to finish this race, let alone a stage. Um, it's going to be a miracle just to finish this race by the time we account for all the wrecks that are going to happen. We haven't made a lap yet. As I spin, that's going to be in like. Eh, maybe it's not going to be in like. We'll or I'll DNF it. Perfect. Save us some misery. Um, actually, I'd rather that happen. Um, it was not going to be good. I doubt we were going to finish uh, much better than 32nd. And we will move on to another dirt race. Um, You know what? This is a road course. We know it's going to take forever. I'm going to actually just simulate this one. Um, because why not? We already know we're into the dirt finals. So I'm going to auto assign the employees, start the work, and select the car, the road course car. And let's simulate it. Uh, save everyone some time. We get 12th there. Not too terrible. Uh, it's probably going to give me terrible driving. Moderate driving. Um, though that gain all that much. We gain some respect. Sure, we'll call it that. Um, and on to the final truck race of the day and we're going to Bristol um, really our first short track race and the trucks Cause I don't think we ever went to Martinsville should be coming up so this will be a boatload of fun as well 
Um, I may not throw in the custom qualifying setup because I feel like I may be able to get this track dialed in how I want it. We'll have to see here. And I'd actually rather be tight here than loose because I can let off the throttle for a little bit longer and be fine at this track. If I'm loose, I'm heading up into the outside wall. So, stock settings may be the way to go. We're six tenths off at the moment. May go to a slightly looser setup, but that will just be with the wedge. Um, then we'll get some better turn. Keep it from dying into the outside wall. Get going, get going again. Hold your line. Got one outside. There goes our little rival, Jennifer Joe Cobb. No idea where she ended up last race, but um, I actually even see her at all. So, um, so we can't even hit the brakes here. We're just going to have to rely on coasting it, unless I turn the brake by this way down, which I suppose I could do. Oh boy. Um, and that's going to be a long one here at Bristol. Got a car pin in front of us. Yeah, I'm just going to rely on coasting it. Hopefully, we don't have to break too much. And we're just going to try to run the bottom here. I know it's going to get crazy once we have lap traffic and such. However, I think we're going to be okay here. Not great, but okay. Let's go ahead. Um, we'll go down two clicks on the wedge. Drop down. I know I'm not doing any more practice. Um, go down, break by some there, and very nice lighting here for qualifying. Let's see where we end up. Only need to set an 18.6 for our goal qualifying time, which is kind of weird, considering that it was a 17.3 for practice, which. I was a seventeen six was our best time. Round of seventeen eight consistently. Let's yeah, lose off. All right, that's seventeen six nine five puts us in twenty fourth. Um, a good exit may have gotten us to a seventeen three there. Um, but we are in for a long one. I believe it said 50 laps for this Coming race. The green, driver. So, um, let's go ahead yeah, and let's get go. it started here at Bristol. The last great Coliseum. Stay on the bottom here. Again, just going to wrap ourselves around the bottom and yeah, likely there. only have to pit here once and can probably keep any track position that we gain so it's going to be something to pay attention to at the end of stage one as to see if we can pit and make it to the end of the race i'm going to be paying close attention to um the tire wear as well Natalie Decker nearly loses it right in front of us. That could have been the end of our race. Um, and we are getting absolutely trained on the top knee get back down to the bottom. As with any short track, we've got our rival down below us. Let's just go ahead and punt her. Oh, and it doesn't even do anything. We'll get back at you, Jennifer Drocob. 
you've punted us enough, we'll start delivering it back. Um, the truck is slow. So, I'm not sure where that came from, but the truck is very slow compared to these AI. I felt like we were good in practice and then qualifying, but apparently qualifying speed is completely different than um, race pace. So, um... here let's start thinking strategy um, that's nearly a best lap for us and we're still losing uh, we may be getting some on roots here But we're getting looser and looser off. We need to go back up on the wedge for sure. Um, we're getting some looseness off the corners. Don't want to slide up and hit the wall. But I think and it's going to be close. If we pit at the end of stage one and I'm not sure if the AI will, because they can technically make it through stage two. But I think if we pit at the end of stage one here, I can probably make it to the end on fuel. Now, with that said, we've got leaders upon us. Got Stick it to the bottom. bottom. No. Okay, now I need him not to get past Root up here. Oh, no. This is bad. We're going to get stuck a lap down. Do not need that. And there's nothing I can do to make up time. Oh boy. Um. Nice drive at that stage, driver. Da da da. This is not good. We're going to get pinned a lap down. Uh, no bueno. We were in perfect position too, I think. Um, that needs to go up significantly. That's going up. Uh, that's not good. All right. Well, now we just need to basically protect ourselves from still there. Clear high, clear high. Ten laps to go. Hold your line, got one out. We basically need to protect the back of the pack from the leaders. So let's run at the very back here actually. We can try to hold up any leaders. Actually I'm gonna kinda of see if we can compete with the AI. With the adjustments Still there. that we made there, during the pit stop, again we're on newer tires, and my strategy kind of goes out the window. Let's go ahead and punk Cobb here a second. I feel like this is something she deserves. Oh yeah. Got a car low now. Yellow flag. Hey, we're on the lead lap now. It's free pass. Everyone's petting now. Um, so now it's going to rely on raw pace. All right, um, ready here. So, down, the down. other option we may have is going to be we've got five laps here to the end of the stage. What may happen, or what I can almost guarantee is going to happen. Is going to be that the AI do not pit at the end of the stage. They're just going based on how far they can go on fuel. So, we're going to have a hard five lap fight here on new tires, and then they're not going to pit at the stage break. I will pit at the stage break 
grab new tires and have some new tires and really whenever there's a caution if there's more cautions during the last stage I will go ahead and pit there um, to gain as much of a tire advantage as I can on the AI so let's see here no danger of being caught a lap down here Last lap, they're going to come through the start finish line here soon. Right about now. Now. Um, we are going to pit for fresh tires. That was interesting. Um, up on the tape. Put the difference there. Fresh tires, and now we advance. Nobody else put it, just as I predicted. Um, so we should have some better tires than everyone else. Let's take a look here. We get going. We'll have to see how the fresh tires work out here, but I do think they're going to help. And the long run. And again, I will basically pit whenever there's a caution, especially if we're towards the back. Um, just to keep gaining that tire advantage over the AI. Five laps may not have been enough, really, um, but the AI are starting to run the high line a little bit, in which case we can run the low line, gain some positions that way. Let's see here. Harmon runs that high line. That. There we go. Now he's forced up. Careful, still there. All right, you're clear. Make that pass. Fogelman goes to the high side. We can't get underneath him there. But he's going to do it again. He's going to open up the door for Careful, us. Still there. Going. And and at thirtieth at the moment. Let's just try to keep it that way. And I expect the leaders to start catching us here soon. And in which case, my goal is just to um, essentially be the last car, one lap down, when the leaders do finally catch us. So, um, so that we get that free pass, that would help us out a lot. Dove it down in there a little bit on that corner, but we are all right. I feel like we're faster than Fulgerman, but there's not really much we can do unless he goes to that high side. Don't have a run. Um, on, I don't think we can run to the high side and be successful. I suppose we could try. That may have worked a little bit. Nope, not really. Try to run a high here again. We're definitely running through the center of the corner a little bit better. Go. Ten laps to go. Give him a bit of a nudge. We're catching up to some of the traffic here right in front of us. 
The leaders are definitely starting to catch us. Still there. Let's keep going. Man, we are getting stacked up at the moment. Definitely using up some of the paint on the front bumper. We may have a run on the outside. We get stuck behind Nemo Check. Throwing a three wide at Bristol. Oh my word, I made it work. Not sure how. Um, maybe I should have been running the high side all this time. Uh, gotta get like ass. Oh, we made it work. Back down to the bottom. Let's get a few more positions here. Try to put a buffer between those leaders. Anderson's back down to the bottom. Up in the 27th. Stay on the bottom here. Starting to loosen up here some. And now up in the P26. Alrighty, so. Up in the 26. I am going to pit here, actually. I'm going to try gain a tire advantage. Um, and that was the right call, because there's four cars a lap down now. We're guaranteed a spot in the top 30, essentially, unless we wreck it. And we've gained a tire advantage on the AI now. I'm going to try to run this top side, gain some spots. I know it's going to be a shootout to the end. Careful, still there. Oh, this was such a right call. Um, one, more to go. one lap to go. Oh, I got in the back of white. Stay high, stay high. Ah, we're going to get pushed up into the wall. One more lap to try to make something happen. White's getting in the way. Get out of the way, white. And it's going to be 20 second, right about where I was, honestly. So, I think I made the right call there. Um, 20 second, 97 speed rating. And, um, yeah, we'll bring it back to the main menu and wrap everything up. Alrighty, very nicely done there at Bristol. Um,. Yeah, we made some contact with some people lately. Um, starting to show ourselves a little bit out there on the track. So, we will be back next episode with a, another dirt race. Let's prep all the cars here. No sense. Not. and auto sign everyone else and work so that's going to wrap it up for today guys um hope you enjoyed the episode it's quite an entertaining one uh today saw the personalities flare a little bit but um and then it all turned out good yeah, like I said, hope you enjoyed, and hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one.